What's up, Scorpio? This is going to be a December monthly, and also I'm going to be doing a yearly overview for 2018 for you guys. Um, my apologies for November not coming out. Alright, let's see what we have here. Some of you could be, um, some of you are going to be meeting an agreement with somebody that you were once involved with or were extending an emotional offer to. Things are going to balance themselves out. There's going to be some communication. Keep in mind, this is for December. <coughs> December in the first week there could be um somebody that somebody that you're going to be hearing from and this person they could be uh telling you how they feel about you possible air sign right here with the king of swords and the judgment card that tells me that there's something that's going to come to that's being finalized so you're going to be hearing from somebody that you could have been previously involved with or they could be reaching out to you or you could be reaching out to them I'm, them i'm sorry keep in mind that we are um going into the retrograde period of mercury So any person that you do hear back from that you once were involved with, uh, don't expect them to stick around long, all right? I'm just going to do the old-fashioned, let me clear, the universals. <coughs> all right, Scorpio, for right now, you guys could be feeling on the defense about something. You could be trying to protect your ego. Um, when it comes to work, you, you guys could possibly be having some troubles when it comes to building a family dynamic or a family issue. Um, you're not using, you know, you need to use your intuition when it comes to this person. And because of this, this will give you a new idea. These cards are speaking very loudly. See, you were once, you're looking for building something or obtaining something but you feel defensive. You feel like you need to defend it. You could have also dealt with this person that you dealt with. Sorry, I needed to move the computer over. You could have also dealt with somebody that was a fire sign, you know, maybe a Leo. And you could be thinking about this person, or this person could be thinking about you. Or you could also have been dealing with a Virgo, too. If this person comes back, I want you guys to really pay attention to what they say and what they do and how they act. Because there is some, there's, a, you could be hurt again by this person. Yeah, someone's going to be extending out a, an offer to somebody, and they're not going to know how to feel about it. Somebody could be also remembering, you could have, you could be also remembering, um, you know, looking back on what failed and something new. You're not really particularly focused on what is presented towards you right now. You're more focused on what you can do. You know, you're looking towards uh, sitting off on a new path. You want a commitment. Some of you could also be dealing with marriage issues and you're hoping that it will turn out best in your favor regardless. 
regardless, the wheel is turning for you guys, especially when it pertains to your love life and you're heading towards a point of healing. Yeah, all three of these cards, you know, you have a lot of major arcanas here. And all of these cards I associate with change, 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 change. Things presenting themselves new to you. You know, the world card is about cycles, so you're completing a cycle in December. It's also a time for healing. You could, this person that you could be, that's coming back, that you're going to hear back from, this could also be just, you know, closure. And this is going to be, or you could be looking for closure. You know, the wheels are turning in this situation. Again, cycles, what's not, what's ending, what's beginning, and you starting out fresh and new with the hangman. <clears throat> okay, so that's all I have for you in December. Let's get to your yearly. Being presented towards you. People coming into your life. Possible heartbreak. Challenges. New beginnings when it comes to um, work, you know. Also, you could have been involved in the third parties and this resulted from something. That's what I'm seeing for some of you. So, I've already shuffled these cards, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull them. I'm going to pull one card for each month, and then I'm going to follow by a clarifier, so... We're actually in the ice You guys are tired of waiting on something. <clears throat> In January, you guys are going to be entering a different uh, phase of your life. You know, you're entering new beginnings, um, especially love. Love is very highlighted for January. You're going to be feeling lovable. You're going to be feeling like that you're ready for something new to begin in your life. You know, you're wanting something to happen. You want to start something with somebody. You could be extending yourself to some people. You just want to get in, like, intertwined with them, with somebody. Or you guys could just be very passionate. In February... There could be some issues when it comes to uh, gaining money, gaining finances. Uh, something that you guys started, you could be realizing that it's not going to work out the way that you thought it would. It's not as great as you thought it would be. And there's going to need to be some reevaluation when it comes to this situation if you guys want to gain more money. You thought that this person, you, you know, you thought that this could work out, but it's not. 
in your favor. This is karmic. You know, you have a seven here. Followed by a nine. So this is going to be, there could be endings in your work sector or finances. That's in February. In March, you guys are going to be thinking very hard about coming to truce with somebody that you were dealing with. Or you're looking towards, looking inwards to make peace with yourself over somebody. Um, but for most of you, this is somebody that you, a person that you were uh, fighting with or have fought with and you haven't spoke to in a long time. You're going to be reevaluating this and what they really mean to you and just coming to peace with it. Setting aside issues with somebody. That's what I see for March. April. You could be, in April, um, you could be partner, partnering with somebody that you, uh, hold on for one second. Sorry about that. In April, uh, you guys could be partnering with somebody that you, you're looking towards making money with uh, being in love, you know, making money with your spouse, making money with the person that you do love, how you guys can come to a common goal and set it and start gaining more and focusing on more. Some of you could also be looking towards getting pregnant as well. And there could be somebody that I'm seeing that's going to seek out some alimony or some type of uh, child support. So... Yeah, someone's definitely going to be setting themselves free from that, though. That's in April. May, there's going to be some uh, concerns when it comes to somebody that's coming. Somebody's going to come back into your life very quickly. And there's going to be worry over this particular person of how they treated you. Or you treated them. You know, if this is you, they're going to be concerned. They're going to be looking at you kind of funny because they don't know if they can trust you. Uh, you could have, whoever this is, they felt tied like they were being led on. Like a horse or, yeah, they were being led on. Someone was being led on and they don't know if they, they don't want to get hurt. So they're worried if they can trust you or not. Trust is going to be an issue in, um... May, June, someone's going to be possibly releasing themselves from a particularly uh, relationship or a union. Um, you know, you could be setting yourself free from somebody that you did meet. It could be a cancer, but you're going to be setting yourself free. That you, someone that you were involved with, you could be leaving somebody. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. because on top of that, you have the completion card, the card of completion. So you could be wrapping up something that somebody that you were dating or somebody that you were involved with in June, you could be you know, wrapping that up. And this is, I feel like that's going to follow over into July because you have the truth, truce card here and you you have the Ace of Swords. So you're definitely going to be gaining some more different insight in July over this person that you were involved with from June. Or this could be the same person that you were dealing with in May. Going back to May... Or met or uh, someone that you met in the beginning of the year by uh, August I see that there is going to be failures there is going to be arguments and things are going to be off balance you know you could be feuding with somebody there is going to be some arguments things will balance themselves out but 
it has to I feel like this is meant to happen. You have two sevens here. So this is meant to happen, followed by the art card, card art. So whatever happens in the month of August is going to very karmic, but very it's gonna teach you some things. In September, you could be realizing that you were attached to somebody, and this is because of defeat. This caused you defeat. Um, you were blindsided by this person's emotions and love. This person, they could have been sweetening you up. They could have been promising and telling you all the things that you want to hear. But in reality, uh, they were no good. You have the devil card here, and you have the, the card of defeat. This could have this person that you were dealing with, they could have been an air sign or a water sign. In October, there's gonna be some interferences. There's gonna be interference. You guys could be feeling like that you are well, I feel like that you're going to be feeling this way throughout the year, but you could be feeling on the defense, like you are you stand alone and you're going to be sticking by what you believe in. That's a feeling that I'm seeing here. But that's very much highlighted in October. November. You guys could be meeting somebody that makes you happy, or there's going to be some happiness when it comes to financial gain or your work sector. You're going to be gaining a lot of money, and this is going to be making you happy. You could also be traveling, traveling, you know, to foreign countries, traveling, traveling to making major movements. That's November. By December, you guys are going to be setting off on a completely different path, and you are going to be successful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull one more card just to uh, clarify. Oops. Yeah, some of you are having a hard time moving on from something, or you feel regret in doing that. You have a decision to make, too. Definitely looking towards being happy. You're going to want to be happy for the word. March, April, May, In 2018, I want you guys to tread forward, you know, move forward, no matter what difficult blockages you go through, move forward, that you face, move forward. In January, you could be focusing a lot on your money, a lot, a lot of focus on your money, possibly buying a house. looking towards what you have and gaining what you reap. In February, there is this situation that's going on with uh, this failure in wealth and around money. There's That's due to some deception. Somebody's being deceptive, whether it being you or somebody that you were dealing with. In March, again, this time is for healing. This situation that you're thinking about that's going to be heavy on your mind
weighing heavy on your mind, coming to uh, peace with some things, it's going to cause, that's a time for healing in the month of March. In April, you're going to be looking, uh, you're going to be disappointed when it comes to the emotional extensive that failed because of money and you could be looking back on this but you guys need to focus on what is being handed to you because something else is coming in when this new person comes in in um may you're going to be beginning a new cycle with them card popped up again You're going to be beginning a new cycle with this person that you're going to meet in May. In June, you're going to be feeling in limbo about something. You could be feeling in limbo because you left a situation behind. In July, this truth that you have with somebody or this, you know, this insight that you're going to gain, this is meant to, this is, yeah, This is meant to happen. It's going to balance itself out. Also, if you're dealing with any court cases from in the year of 2018, uh, you need to, that's very much highlighted in July. Things are going to go in your favor, though. In August, you're going to be looking towards this disappointment that you are experiencing. Um, you're going to be looking towards being hopeful, being hopeful that something new will come in for you. Uh, you could also be waiting on something as well. In September, you realizing that this person was toxic that you were involved in uh, with the Two of Cups here. Yeah, definitely you could be meeting with somebody that's very toxic in September. And this person, is it's not going it's not going to work out. In October, when it comes to standing alone, you guys are going to have to use your intuition and your best judgment to overcome any, any interference that you go through. You know, know who you are and what you stand for and what you don't. November, this new wealth that you're going to come into, it's going to set you off on a new cycle and a new path. You could be looking towards um, moving, making moves again. And by December, you're going to end off the year by feeling defensive. Uh, you could be looking towards what you have gained and being very protecting over it and what all you have accomplished this year. So... That's all I have for you in this video. I hope that this helped you and you found some of this stuff insightful or, you know, resonated. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching. And until my next one, I will see you then.